welcome to the very first episode of Scoo Bowl. So we're uh, super excited to be running this in the build-up to the big game itself in a few weeks. Uh, the goal of this event is simple. We want to help you run a better, a more efficient, a more streamlined warehouse operation. So we've brought on some of the best of the business, uh, some of our very own solutions engineers, to help you get to that point. Uh, today, you'll be hearing from Vince Stavrowski. Uh, one of our senior solutions engineers, and we're going to be covering things like when do you know that it's time to level up your operation? Uh, how do you manage that change once you actually get to that point? You know, it can be change management is, can be a huge blocker. And then we'll just be talking about some of the tools and some of the integrations you need to be thinking about to get to that next level. So on that note, Vince, welcome to Scubo. Hey, thanks so much. So first question, let's dig right into it. What are some of the signs to watch out for uh, that tell you that it's time to upgrade your warehouse setup? Yeah, absolutely. So every organization is really different. Uh, they're all on their own timeline. But typically, um, they'll, they'll come to us for a solution when they discover they're spending a lot more time in the business than on it. Um, when they realize that they cannot focus on growing their business and finding new ways to increase revenue and margins while they're completely tied up in daily operations or in error resolution. Okay. And could you just dig into some of the specifics there? So like, um, I don't know, spreadsheets, we talk about spreadsheets as being a, a competitor of ours. Like, like what, what are they looking out for? Yeah, just, just having to do a lot of manual operations, a lot of manual calculations. Um, really, what what we see oftentimes in, in the marketplace is folks are looking for automations. Um, they're looking for ways to get through individual tasks much faster and without their direct input. So allowing a system with the capability of, of automating specific processes, uh, kind of manage that part of the the day-to-day -day of the business um, and really allowing operators to um, think about expanding or growing or um, how to develop their business rather than you know, spending so much effort and so much time on the day-to-day -day processes, which really in, in this day and age should be automated to a high degree. Of course. Now, I know another one of the key issues that, that growing companies have is, is um, it's like a, a Jenga tower of a tech stack where you're adding your different pieces of tech, one on top of the other, and you're creating this overly complex system that, that doesn't really communicate. So, can you explain why that is a barrier to growth and walk us through an example of how that's the, how that is the case? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, as as anyone who's played Jenga knows, the, the, the higher you build the tower, that is the more floors that the tower has on it, the, uh, the less stable it becomes. And that's, that's exactly true uh, for a business running with multiple systems, um, attempting, all attempting to communicate with each other. Um, you know, each of those individual connections really does uh, have to be flawless. It has to, to work very well. The systems have to communicate with each other. And if they don't, that requires manual intervention by the operator, of course. And, uh, and that, of course, takes time away from, from the ability to grow their business, right? The time that they're spending on keeping that tower from falling over is not time they've spent on developing their business and, and finding additional revenue streams. So let's say you've arrived at the point of no return. You want to keep growing. You've acknowledged your warehouse operation needs to change. But as we all know, change is scary, uh, especially when you're talking about a complex business. Uh, and, and like I mentioned, it, it can be a huge blocker. So how do you manage that? Um, you know, I'm a warehouse manager. Um, I understand that I need to change. But what are the, some of the things that I should be doing to manage that change within my organization? Yeah, absolutely. And, and change management is always a critical part of adopting a new system. A uh, very collaborative approach to onboarding and implementation, meaning customers are very involved in getting their systems up and running, is a huge factor in managing the introduction of a new platform to any organization. So from the first discovery call all the way through ongoing support after the launch, it's really important to maintain a very high level of t service. And this keeps the clients educated on the systems, trained in their use, competent in operating the system, and this level of engagement has a much higher success rate for managing change than a self-service or a low engagement onboarding does. So you said onboarding, 
or, or organizations that have an onboarding capability is is the key difference here. Yeah, and I would actually go a step further and say that the the level of service in that onboarding is actually really critical. So uh, not just the fact that uh, onboarding is available, but that the onboarding is, is very engaged and the customers are uh, really taking part of launching that new system. Um, that's super critical because without that, then the system is kind of a black box for them. They don't necessarily know how to use it to the highest level or, or to the most efficiency. Um, but a very involved onboarding process can really resolve that and give, give retailers, give sellers the confidence that not only do they know how to use their system, but they know how to maximize their operational efficiency with that system. And just touching, because I, I know a, a big blocker can be, you know, when people think about implementation, I just think that, you know, this long, big, long-term process, I mean, how quickly can companies get on board with the right systems? Wow, there's so many variables there. That really depends on the system. It depends on the the seller themselves as well. Um, but, you know, thinking about a meaningful and effective onboarding process, um, you know, I would think spending several weeks, you know, four to six weeks on a particular uh, setup would really give a, uh, a retailer or a seller a much better understanding of the software, a much better understanding of the system um, and how to use that system effectively within their own business. Short of that time frame, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a, just a big believer of, of you know, putting the, the, the work in. Right. Outside of, of putting the work in, it's going to be hard to be able to really understand a system at a level deep enough uh, to make a significant difference within your organization. Right. So let's move on to tech. <clears throat> Just want to talk about what are some of the key tools or capabilities that SMB should be considering uh, when it comes to leveling up that warehouse operation in terms of efficiency in terms of accuracy yeah yeah and and again it really depends on on the organization right some retailers operate in such a way that paper pick lists and hand counting and manual order processing processing rather work really well for them um, and other retailers have a very real need for high volume order processing with digital pick waves and mobile scanners um, and it's important to have a platform like Linworks that has the ability to serve both types of retailers or some unique combination of the two. In my opinion, it's it's less about just throwing technology at every problem and really more about doing the work to determine the right technology mix to solve the specific problem uh, without introducing unnecessary complexity. Okay, just a couple of things I want to just dig into there that you mentioned. Sure. Digital pick wave. So what do you mean by that exactly as a capability? Yeah, so specifically the ability to send a pick list to a mobile device, think a tablet or a smartphone, uh, that a picker as a warehouse worker can take with them rather than a paper pick list. This allows for greater control and efficiency during that pick process, um, particularly when scan on pick is enforced. And mobile scanners, what would you say some of the benefits of that are? Yeah, absolutely. So we get asked this a lot. This enables your pickers to scan a SKU's barcode on pick. That re greatly reduces the human error and miss pick potential during that process. Um, this scan uh, can also be enabled during the packing process. So you can enforce scanning on picking as well as scanning on packing. And again, really just increasing the efficiency, control, and reducing the, the human error potential during those processes. So la last question, Vince. Uh, just want you to share some common examples of, of mistakes that SMBs encounter when they're trying to level up their operation and, and how they can avoid them. Yeah, absolutely. So my advice to anyone getting ready to upgrade their organization is, is actually pretty simple. It's to really understand what your actual operational problems are and what an ideal solution might look like for you. So many times I speak to sellers who are looking to solve all of their problems, 
by making a technology purchase, but they haven't really examined at a deep level of their operations to understand where their own if inefficiencies or errors or where their actual problems are. So once you identify those and you can get really creative on building a specific system to solve those specific operational challenges and get running smoothly again. So what I would encourage retailers and sellers to do is to look deeply into their own operations and do their best to identify where those specific problems lie. If we can then uh, tackle those specific problems by designing a specific solution, um, that can really target those problems and give those operators that that efficiency back without overcomplicating the rest of their operations. And that, that's really a goal there. Amazing. Thank you, Vince, for this goldmine of insights. That's episode one of Scooball Wrapped. Uh, so next week, we're going to be back with episode two, where we'll be talking about how to create a unified naming scheme for your product and and why that's so important and, and the, the effects that can have in terms of scaling. So thanks again, Vince. Uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs>